Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Ella if you're new here, if not then hello. So in today's video I have a, another tips video for the students out there and it is how to secure internships and work experience. Now I know that we are approaching summer and Easter and lots of students will be starting to think about whether they want to do internships, whether they want to get work experience during the summer to help their careers or just to gain some more experience. So I thought this would be a great video to share. I had an internship last summer so I know that it can be quite stressful but also quite exciting to think about and since summer is approaching I thought this tip video would be really beneficial to some of you. So like I said, I have four tips on how to secure or even just look for these kind of experiences. Um, they range in networking events and career events and also online. So if you guys want to watch and learn some tips, then stay tuned. And at the end of the video, if you learned something and if you enjoyed it, then make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. And yeah, apart from that, let's just get on into the video. Okay, so my first tip is for the university students out there and it is to make the most of your careers department. Now, pretty much I think every university will have a careers department and it's a really good way to get some more knowledge about how to look for these internships and work experience. And what I'd really recommend is going to one of the careers meetings and meeting up with an advisor. This way you can get a lot of information about what there is out there and the options that you can pursue. You can go to the meeting and kind of tell the advisors what kind of jobs you're interested in, what experiences that you're interested in, and basically get a bit of some better knowledge on how to secure these internships and work experiences. So I think it was about this time last year where I met with someone from the careers department and I basically told her what kind of job prospects I was interested in and these were digital marketing and basically social media marketing and she was really lovely she helped me out so much she actually showed me the careers website from the university online which was really useful I didn't even know that there was an online board and yeah it was just a really important meeting that I'm really happy I went to because she showed me all of the options that I could look for these kind of experiences and she helped me talk through how best to you know approach different organizations and brands and how to secure these so usually through these meetings the career advisors will actually show you maybe they have their own website things like that and give you all the information that they can give you on what they offer and it is so beneficial because like I said, I didn't even know that my university had a careers website. I had absolutely no idea. Um, but when she showed me this, it helped so much. There were different kind of columns and forums where I could get more information and even apply to some jobs on there, which was really useful. So yeah, that's my first tip. I really think make the most of what your university or what your school offers and set up a meeting for a careers advisor and basically talk through what you're looking for, what you're interested in, and I think they could be really helpful. So my second tip is to make the most of the websites out there. There are lots of job websites such as, you know, Indeed, Read.com, but people don't really know this. You can also find internships and just overall work experience there. They don't have to be actual, you know, paid jobs. Um, so this is my second tip, make the most of the websites, have a look around. If you kind of know what kind of experience you want, um, if you have a really set career path, then this is a great way to find some internships. If you just look up, say, digital marketing internship on Indeed, um, lots will come up. It's not just for jobs and things like that. You can actually filter it for internships or work experience, part-time jobs, things like that. And it's a really useful way because it shows what's actually on the market and what's available for you now. And it's quite a good way to see what brands are out there and what brands are actually looking for internships. Even if you aren't looking for these, you know, work experience this year, maybe you're just thinking about it for next year. It's a good way to see what 
what kind of brands are out there and what they offer. Usually on the websites like Indeed, the brands actually ask what they're looking for. So they'll say what kind of skills they're looking for in a candidate, which is really useful because you know, you can apply the skills that you have and search through all the different work experiences to see which one is best suited for you. And you can also just get a bit more information on what the work experience and internship would offer. There are so many websites like this out there, just to name a few, there's like Indeed, Read.com, CV Library. If you just look up your kind of interest and then internship or your interest and work experience, um, these websites will honestly come up and you can just go through those, have a look and see whether there are any brands that interest you and yeah, apply for those that way. It's a really easy way, it's all online and you can just send your CV and a cover letter and things like that and just see what kind of brands are out there looking for people like you. Okay, my third tip is actually offline and it is to attend career fairs and networking events. Now, some of your universities or schools might offer these career fairs, which is great. If not, if you just look up your city and kind of careers fairs, I'm sure that there'll be quite a lot available. Um, most cities do these, which is really good. And if you kind of know what you want to do, maybe you can look up a networking event for that. For instance, I went to VidCon recently and I went to the networking lounge there and, you know, networked with some people there for internships, which was really useful. So what I'd really recommend is looking up some careers fairs, again, maybe asking your career advisor if there are any coming up and attending those. It's a really good way to make connections and meet brands and like-minded people. And this means that for the future or for the summer, whenever you're looking for, you will actually have some contacts, which is really useful. And at the end of the networking event, if you get their business card or if even you have a business card, you can give to them. It's just a really useful way to network and create some contacts. So for the future, when you do want to start an internship or work experience, you can actually reconnect with them, email them up and say, you know, if you have an internship availability, then I'd love to be put forward and considered. It's also just a really nice way to meet people your age and like-minded people like you also looking for the type of experiences that you're looking for. You can chat to them and see how they best network and things like that you can learn from each other and yeah it's just really nice to meet people that are in your situation and of course connect with brands and businesses that you maybe want to work for so that's my third tip attend the careers fairs and networking events that are available my fourth and final tip is again online. I know lots of things are online at the moment, but this is actually a really important thing, I believe, and it is to set up a LinkedIn page and connect with jobs and people that way. So if you didn't already know what LinkedIn is, it's a social network that basically focuses on career development and kind of career networking. You can put all your experiences down and your skills, and you can connect with people that maybe you've worked with or that you potentially hope to work with. And the key thing on LinkedIn is they have a jobs page, which is really good, where you can actually find internships and work experiences there. You can filter it for what you want and what skills best suit you. And it's just a really good way to find work experience that way. If you have already had some work experience or internships, then LinkedIn is a great way to connect and you can basically form connections and network that way online instead. You can message the people that you've worked with or hopefully work with and form connections that way. It's basically just a professional networking social media kind of. But yeah, I'd really recommend to the people that maybe want to start thinking more about their careers and you know internships and work experiences to set up a LinkedIn account write down you know your education your skills if you have any previous work experience and connect with people and ultimately try and find an internship that works best for you through the jobs forum okay so they were my four tips go to your school or uni careers advisors look online at the job websites attend networking events and make a LinkedIn page. 
I know that finding internships and work experience can be quite daunting and it can be quite difficult um, but if you follow these tips I think you'll have a much better chance on finding the best internship and work experience suited towards you and I think these tips are also just very beneficial for networking and connecting with new people even if you aren't looking for an internship or work experience at this current stage it's always good to start these processes early because then when you do look for these you can already have a list of contacts and you can connect with them for the future. To the people that are already looking for work experience and internships then best of luck and if you guys have any of your own tips that you'd like to share then leave a comment down below and yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!